Mrs. Linda Lou Neal, 68, of Mount Vernon, passed from this life on Thursday, June 23rd, 2022, at her home. She was born in Stanford, Kentucky, on May the 29th, 1954, the daughter of Matt Jr. and Ruby McFerrin Powell. She had been an administrative employee at a collection agency and was a member of Fireground Hill Community Holiness Church. She is survived by her daughter, Jamie Bradley, and Josh Davis of Mount Vernon, her mother, Ruby Powell of Mount Vernon, a brother, Melvin Powell, and wife, Jody of Mount Vernon, her grandchildren, Caleb Bradley, Jasper Davis, Ashlyn Davis, and Tyler Neal, and her step-grandchildren, Mitchell Hi. Davis and Hunter Hi. Davis. She was preceded in death by her husband, Rick Neal, and her father, Matt Powell Jr. If you would bow your head, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you today. Father, we, we are saddened, Lord, no doubt, with our loss of uh, Sister Linda. Father, I thank you, Lord, though, for this opportunity that I have to maybe say a few words, Father, that would help someone that's here today. Father, we understand, Lord, that she has done made her journey. There's nothing we can say or nothing we can do to change that. She has done, uh, made that glorious journey. Father, we just ask you, Lord, that you bless this service today, Lord, that it would just be led by your spirit. And Father, somebody would be blessed, Lord, in this time that we've gathered together, Lord, to say goodbye to this precious love. Lord, we thank you for it all. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I thought, uh, as this time looked like, uh, if the Lord didn't see fit to do it otherwise, uh, I thought we, as days went on, we knew that things was uh, getting close for Sister Linda. And uh, we went and seen her different times and prayed with her. And uh, we got to reflect a lot about, uh, a lot of times through the years, I've known Sister Linda a pretty good while. And uh, I probably have prayed with Sister Linda more than I have anybody that I know. Uh, she, when I, when I met her, uh, she had a lot of sickness and a lot of migraines, and and uh, I never seen anybody get so bad a shape as Sister Linda would get in. And and I'm not saying I'm all one ever prayed for, her, but I know she called me a lot and asked me to stop by uh, Jamie and pray for. Her. And uh, we'd have good prayers. And I, I told her uh, just a few days ago how much I enjoyed uh, the prayers that we spent together. Uh, I believe that she loved the Lord. I believe she feared the Lord. And uh, I believe she's in a better place today. Uh, we, we can look at things, and, and uh, no doubt we, we don't take enough time to give them justice, uh, how precious that they are uh, to us in our lives. And then we look up one day and our loved ones are gone. And it is a sad time uh, during that time. But uh, I learned a long time ago after I began to serve the Lord that uh, our life here is just for a little while, although we may live to be a, a, a ripe old age, uh, we're just here for just a little while. Jesus said in John chapter 3, verse 15, said that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into, into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. As I read that this morning, it seemed like Sister Linda uh, come to my heart. And, and I got to thinking about this eternal life that we read about in the Word of God. Uh, I thought I'd look up the word eternal, so I, I really wanted to know what it really meant. Uh, the word eternal means lasting or existing forever without end or beginning. Uh, we all understand, uh, or I hope that we do, that once we leave this life, 
uh, it don't just end with the grave. Uh, but there's a better place uh, waiting on us after a while if our name uh, is written in the Lamb's book of life and we have our sins washed under the blood of the Lamb, uh, we get to go to that good place. And I remember a few weeks ago, Sister Linda said something to me that I'll never forget as long as I live. She had one of the greatest testimonies, uh, Melvin, that I believe I've ever heard. She said, I have searched my heart and I have asked God, is there anything uh, that would hinder me uh, from going to heaven? If, and it looks like that's where uh, that I may be going if, if God don't see fit to heal my body. She said, I have prayed and I have prayed and I've not got anything uh, that would hinder me from going to heaven. And, and I thought how great that was. Uh, you may say, well, she, she already knew the Lord, and that's and of course that is great, uh, that she's, she's known the Lord a long time and lived for the Lord. Uh, but I, I thought that's the way I would want to do if I knew my time was coming to an end. Uh, I'd want to search my heart and find out where I was at with God. I, I believe she was working on that eternal life. And, you know, through the years, and I, her family has seen her a lot sicker than I have, uh, but I got to thinking uh, the last two or three days after Sister Linda had, had passed on, uh, she'll never have another migraine. Uh, she'll, she'll never be sick. She'll never be heartbroken. Uh, she'll, she'll never uh, be down and out ever again. I believe she has received that eternal life. And that encourages me today. And that gives me hope that to go on. And I, I know we, we go by uh, the casket and, and we understand that when we see Sister Linda's body there. And uh, here in a little while, we'll, we'll put her in the ground. God will allow. Uh, but that soul has done gone on somewhere. And I believe she's gone on to a good place. And, and, and I'm excited about that. Uh, I bought eternal life. Eternity is forever. Uh, she'll not have another headache. Uh, many of a time, I, I, I loved her husband, uh, Rick, dearly, and, and I, I appreciate him all he done for me. And he always tell me any time that Linda calls, you come running. I don't care where I'm at, who's around, you come running, and you pray for him. And uh, I have several times. I went out that road and, and uh, went into that driveway and went in the house and we prayed had wonderful prayers and when she felt like she'd come to church a wonderful singer loved to sing for the Lord and the uh, power of God would move upon her and she'd be blessed so good she was at church uh, Melvin and her mommy brought her to the church just a few days ago and it was so good to see her uh, but you know I, I've always prayed and prayed and prayed and she asked me uh, during this time she said pray uh, that this not bother me, this not bother my mind, and 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 I, I don't know everything about her wasn't there the whole time, but I know every time I come in to see her, she knew who I was. Uh, she had a good mind about her. She she was she wanted to keep her mind, wanted, wanted that not be bothered. And uh, I thank God for answering that prayer. Uh, we prayed, Melvin, that God would heal her uh, because we love her, and don't want to lose her, Jamie. We wanted to keep her. Uh, but that's some of the other prayers that she had me to pray. God, don't let her. Don't let her suffer in her mind. But if you don't see fit uh, to heal her, then she'll not get in that kind of shape. And I thank God for that. I thank God for honoring that prayer for Sister Linda. I believe she found favor with God. And that, that's precious for him today to find favor with God. Uh, that God loved her so much uh, that he, he honored that prayer. Ruby and give that to her and I thank God for that and, and that encourages me today I, I know uh, S Sister Linda uh, she, she was a precious woman precious woman to me and, and I, I've seen her and she's never been out of line with me at all uh, but she was a fireball and I believe that I believe she is a fireball and, and I sure wouldn't want to get her uh, very stirred up because I believe you'd had it to deal with if you did uh, but she always treated me good and, and loved me and, and made me feel special. 
And I don't know about you, but that's uh, that's something you don't get in this world very much today. Is someone make you feel special? And, and I thank God uh, that I've got to know Sister Linda. And I believe if I live good, I'm talking just for, for Robert Miller. I believe if I live good and live by the Word of God, I believe I'll get to see Linda again. And I thought about Rick. You know, it's not been very long since he's been gone. And uh, boy, I thought, man, you talk about a reunion time. I'd say they had them a time. And uh, some people believe it that way and some don't. But that's how I'm going to hold to that. Uh, they, she told me the other night. She said, I sure long to see him again. And, and that really touched me. Because uh, I knew that she loved him dearly. Uh, so we can be encouraged today. I know we're saying goodbye here. And I don't know where he's at. He might not be in the room. He's your little boy. Uh, I want to say this about him. The other night, I went and prayed to pray for Sister Linda. He got up in a chair so he could look me right dead in the eye. And he let me know where Mama was going and who she was going to see when she got there. He wasn't going to get to see her here anymore, but he'd get to see her again one day. And I thought, well, he ought to just preach the funeral, because that was just as good as he got right there. And uh, I shared that with the church the other night. It, it touched me so good. Uh, that little fella, just as innocent as he can be. He may be rowdy, but he's innocent. <laughs> and, and, and that's all right. There's nothing wrong with being a little bit rowdy. Uh, but you know what? He got right up in that chair. He made sure he had my attention. And he told me, how, how it's going to be about my mom. And, and that, that really that really done something to me. And I'm going to hold to that. And uh, I believe that happened, just like he said. Uh, I believe she got to be with Papa again. And I believe we'll hold to him. We'll get to see her after a while. Uh, so I, I pray today that you hold on to that. Uh, that we realize, and, and we look at it today, Jamie, and we say well, that they're gone. Uh, but if we'll, we'll live good, we'll get to see him in a little while. And uh, he, he'll, take, he'll take you living right. He'll take you holding to God and uh, doing your very best to serve the Lord and the Lord will do the rest. Uh, all he wants out of us is our very best, and he'll do the rest. He'll give you what you need to overcome. Uh, but eternal life, I believe she worked for a long time on that eternal life. And I believe she's reaping that reward today. So if you would, bow your head one more time. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time, Father, that we've had to be before you. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for every time, Father, that you blessed and, and helped us, Lord, when we were down and out and fell short. Father, I thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. Father, I ask you, Lord, to bless this family, bless Jamie and, and Lord, these grandchildren and her mommy, Lord, and Melvin. And Father, I pray to all these family, Lord, that you'll just hold them and love them and, and keep them, Lord, in the days and weeks and months to come. Father, I know it's hard to say goodbye. But, Father, we have a hope, Lord, we'll get to see her again after a while. Father, we pray, Lord, that these words, Lord, would comfort their hearts. Father, we ask you, Lord, to bless them. But, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Father, that we've had, Lord, to be with you today. Father, we just ask you to bless them in a mighty way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.